Yo, what is up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, October 17th. Very nice day in the live stream. Um, start off with NVIDIA on a nice Mighty 90, plus 430. Then did a Roku volume runner, plus 488. Boeing volume runner, plus 260. And then tried a continuation runner in Apple and ended up being a small losing trade. So overall, plus 1,080. So a nice four-figure day on four trades. Let me show you. So NVIDIA. So I had a nice Mighty 90 setup. So I got long right here. And as always, with Mighty 90s, I positioned size so that I could add. And when it came down to this pivot here, I added in. It popped back up. I got out of half. Then I got out of a quarter. And I cut my last contract right here at the top. No, actually, I don't even think it was the top. I think I got out about right here because I just I didn't want it to work itself back down because the market was really weak to open today. So, uh, and NVIDIA was weak. So, uh, but great mighty 90 there. I love it when there's good volume pop, comes down to a pivot, was able to add some nice one there. Roku. So Roku got this big volume bar. I missed the initial get in. And then I ended up getting in, uh, I think right about here as it pulled back and then it ripped up and I got out of half and I got out of a quarter. I got out of another one. And then I ended up riding it all the way up to right here. And I just got out of my last few contracts and it looks like I got out a little too early. Um, let's see. I think I had like four or five contracts left. Um, and things price action has had seemed to, like it had slowed down a lot, but uh, now I can see that my my Roku 488 would have been a uh, much better or more winning trade, but I can't 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 be upset by having a 488 winner. So I'll take that in Boeing. So Boeing had this initial push up with big volume. It was a little different than Toss. Toss didn't have it as big volume. But anyway, I watched it push up. And then when it pulled back to right here, I got long. And then um, it pushed up. And I got out of half, got out of a quarter. And then when it came back down to like this one started coming down, I got out right there. So the range was really tight. And it didn't continue upward. So I bailed on it right there. So uh, plus Plus 260, I, I, I gave some back with a couple contracts left with this little pullback, but I think I got out pretty good because I would have lost even more if I let it come all the way down. And then Apple, good example of a continuation runner that is low risk. So market was weak. Apple was weak. It pushed up to this pivot. I got short right here expecting a rollover. And so my key level here is this pivot. So if it pushes through the pivot, I bail on it, and it's a it's a small loss, and it's a quick trade. You know, from the time it opened to the time I close is probably just a couple minutes, and that's what it did. So I got filled at a buck fifty six here, and then when it pushed through the pivot, I, I got out of it at a dollar forty nine. So, um, you know, it could be a quick trade, uh, knowing it, it would be a small loss, or if it would have rolled over, you know, it would have been a longer trade, but it would have been profitable. What I'm, what I'm trying to do is I try to, you know, have the losses be small, keep them small. So that's what I did here with Apple. And uh, nice day today. So I will see everybody back on Friday. You'll have Steve for the next couple days. Talk to you later. Peace.